cloud engineer or DevOps engineer. We teach over 100,000 people cloud skills, AI skills, tech skills, and this is one of the most common questions I get asked. But honestly, this is the wrong question because the smartest engineers in tech right now are not picking one or the other. They're combining them both together. And those are the people that are landing the best roles, the highest paying jobs, and the most career freedom. And that actually matters. For example, according to LinkedIn and Glassdoor, cloud engineers and DevOps engineers are consistently ranked in the top 10 most in-demand tech jobs right now. But the job ads are just getting blurrier and blurry. Like over 60% of DevOps roles right now require cloud skills. And cloud roles are asking for tools like Terraform or Docker or CI CD experience, which in the past was DevOps territory only. So if you feel really overwhelmed about picking the right path, don't worry, that is completely normal. But in this video, I'm gonna walk you through what cloud and DevOps engineers actually do, the tools and the skills that they share, why AI is merging these roles faster than ever, and how to build a hybrid skill set that's gonna set you up for success in 2025 and beyond. So before we get into what cloud engineers and DevOps engineers actually do, we need to understand why the role exists in the first place. So let's just rewind real quick and I'm gonna take you back. So as companies started moving into the cloud, think like Netflix or Amazon or Spotify, everything changed. They were running massive global systems that needed to scale instantly, stay secure, never go down, and somehow ship updates every single day. This created two massive challenges. Number one, how do we build cloud infrastructure that can handle all of this complexity? And number two, how do we push code without everything else breaking? To solve the first problem, companies hired cloud engineers. These are the people who could architect scalable, secure cloud environments like AWS, GCP, or Azure. They focused on networking, IEM, high availability, cost. They basically wanted to make sure that infrastructure wasn't the bottleneck anymore. To solve the second problem, companies needed DevOps engineers. These are the ones building automated systems, setting up CI CD pipelines, monitoring tools, and even deploying rollback strategy. Their mission is to help developers deploy code fast, securely, and very often. DevOps-driven teams spend 60% less time on support issues. They make 30% more deployments and they cut IT costs down by 22% on average. These roles were essentially created to solve some of the most difficult modern problems in software. And they still do, but the line between them is blurring a lot. The tools are often overlapping and companies are hiring people who can do both. So let's break down what their roles actually look like. All right, so what does this look like in the real world? World. Let's look at the scenario. So imagine you're working at a fast growing startup and you've just launched a new product and suddenly traffic spikes. The app starts slowing down, support tickets are coming in, people are raging on Twitter or X or whatever it's called. Things are not looking good. Now watch what happens next and who handles what. So the cloud engineer jumps in first. They check the load balances and the auto scaling groups on AWS. They increase instant limits. They tweak database performance and optimize storage through all to keep the systems alive and smooth. They're the reason your app stays online under pressure. Then the DevOps engineer steps in. They check the deployment logs and monitoring tools. They can patch a broken config. They can trigger a redeploy and notify the dev team of what's going on. All without touching a single production server. They're the reason you fix issues fast without causing more issues. So the cloud engineer builds the infrastructure that can handle growth and the DevOps engineer lets you build the systems that help you ship fast and stay stable. Two roles with a slightly different focus. But let's start to break down where their skills actually overlap and how learning these skills can make you insanely valuable. Let's just get something clear. Cloud and DevOps share a toolkit. In fact, if you're learning one, you're already halfway to mastering the other. For instance, both cloud and DevOps engineers often use Terraform or CloudFormation for infrastructure as code. They use Docker and Kubernetes for containers and orchestration. Python, Bash or PowerShell for scripting and automation. AWS, GCP or Azure for cloud services or monitoring tools like Prometheus, Datadog or CloudWatch. But the thing is that they may use the same tool for a slightly different reason. Like a cloud engineer might use Terraform to build a production grade multi-region network, or a DevOps engineer might use Terraform to spin up a temporary test environment for every single pull request. It's the intent and focus that defer, not the tool set. And as I said, job descriptions are getting blurrier and blurrier. Companies want engineers that can think across stack from infrastructure to deployment, and that's where hybrid skills come in. If you can learn cloud and DevOps, you're not just more hireable, you're more adaptable across projects and teams, you're more resilient to job shifts in the market. To be honest, you're a stronger candidate for leadership positions within a company. What I recommend is even if you lean more towards cloud or DevOps, you should be learning the other skill set as well. Like if you're more drawn to cloud engineering, start learning some of the DevOps skills like CI CD pipelines or basic monitoring and logging. These will help you automate your deployments and keep infrastructure running smoothly, not just by building it. So what I'd recommend doing is going to our website and clicking on projects at the bottom here and create a free account and then click on the seven day DevOps challenge. And in this challenge, you're actually gonna create a CI CD pipeline. So a skill set that you need for DevOps. Plus you're gonna learn other tools as well. 
completely from scratch. So you don't need to be experienced in DevOps or anything like that at all. You can have no experience. You're gonna learn the theory and the practical implementation all in one. Plus the part that I really love is at the end of your projects, you can generate documentation automatically and share it to your portfolio. So I'll show you what that looks like. So here's what my documentation looks like. It was automatically generated for me. It's now in my own project portfolio, including all the screenshots that I took and some of the responses that I made. Here's my project portfolio. You can also share it directly to LinkedIn, which is awesome and something that I've seen work really well for people. This is a great way to authenticate your skills and show recruiters that you actually know what you're talking about. If you wanna learn DevOps skills, I'd recommend doing the seven day DevOps challenge where you build an entire CI CD pipeline plus learn more DevOps skills on top of that as a complete beginner, links in the description. Likewise, if you're more into DevOps, learning things like IAM or networking basics is gonna go a long way. Maybe learning more about multi-region architecture or cost optimization. These give you the foundation to automate things right and not just script blindly. I'd also recommend checking out the networking series and the security series on our website. But now, of course, we have AI in the picture. So how does that affect everything? All right, so let's be honest, tools are changing incredibly fast. AI is already automating a huge chunk of what used to be the job. Like CI CD pipelines run themselves, monitoring tools predict issues before they happen, code gets written by vibe coders. Vibe coding is definitely not there yet, so don't rely on vibe coding yet. But the point is that people who know how to design the whole system and use AI to glue it together are the ones who are gonna succeed. The engineers that specialize in one thing and don't use AI are in my opinion quite at risk at becoming obsolete in the future. In our community, we're already seeing this happen. The students that are landing interviews in 2025 are not the ones who are learning theory or maybe using one service at a time. They're the ones doing hands-on projects that combine cloud and DevOps and AI all together into one. So the question isn't, will AI replace engineers? I think the question is more, are you becoming the kind of engineer that AI amplifies instead of replacing? Something that I really like in our community is when students take the seven day DevOps challenge that they've done or other security or networking ones, and they combine it with AI to make an overarching real world project that is super impressive and just stands out to employers. It's really the next step here, if you can interrelate all the different things you're learning into one massive real world project, it's gonna impress recruiters. And honestly, if you don't have ideas, I'd recommend checking out our community because you're gonna get a lot of ideas from our community. Oh, the link to our community is in the description below and you can join for free. Part that a lot of people overcomplicate is they try and learn everything at once. Now, this is not gonna help and it's gonna actually confuse you even more. But if you wanna become a cloud engineer, I'd recommend checking out our cloud engineering roadmap or a DevOps engineer, I'd recommend checking out our DevOps engineering roadmap. These are gonna be a good foundation to get started, but remember everyone's journey is different, so it doesn't matter what skill set you have right now or where you've worked in the past, everyone can get to these different career paths and their journey may look slightly different, and that is okay. If you take away anything from this video, it would be that you need to start building projects earlier rather than later. Don't do a bunch of courses that make you feel productive or try and get a certification. Just start building projects and interrelate everything together. You will learn the theory and the hands-on application all in one. As always, let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree or wanna add anything else. And as always, like and subscribe, it really helps the channel. And I hope you land those dream roles. Peace out.